intentions of sharing this with you guys, but I just can't keep this a secret. I got plastic surgery. I finally fixed one of my biggest insecurities. So before this video gets started, I want to give you guys a little fair warning slash disclaimer. I want to inform you guys that there are some very graphic images in this video and there are also needles and blood. So if that triggers you in any sort of way or makes you feel uncomfortable, I do not recommend watching this. Again, this is my true story and be greatly appreciated if you respect me and my choices. Thank you. What's up, T-Bills? It's your boy, Bills, back at it again with another YouTube video. Wow, I really tried hard to do that intro. It is really hard to speak because my face is so, like, sore. I know this looks like it hurts a lot, but I promise you it's not as bad as it looks. This is so unlike my usual videos, and I know this week is going to be completely different. When I got this procedure done that I'm about to show you, I really didn't think I was going to show anybody, but you guys are family to me, and Team Bills is a part of me, and I just don't want to hide anything or keep any secrets away from you so i just think i should just share this with you guys this is not at all to glamorize anything and this is not at all to make you feel insecure or make you feel like you need to do something and it's not what i want this to be about i want this to be something that i'm documenting for myself and to share with you guys because you guys are a family to me and you mean so much to me and team bales is literally a part of my life and i want to be as transparent and real with you guys i don't want to hide anything at the end of the day like keeping a secret from you guys is like really tough and I just feel like it's just being 100% honest with you guys. It is officially a full 24 hours since I had this work done. What I got done was something that I have been wanting for literally five to six years. So growing up, I was very, very insecure about my face. I struggled with weight, which is very crazy for people to understand. I used to get made fun of for my weight. I was never fat. I was just chubby. Because of that, I have carried this weight with me for so many years. I don't know if you guys have seen but i did touch briefly on this during my eating disorder yes i had an eating disorder it was a very bad one it tore my family apart basically i got kicked out of my house so many things went down it was a very very tough time during my entire eating disorder i developed something called body dysmorphia if you guys don't know what body dysmorphia is body dysmorphia is a condition where you basically don't see yourself how everybody else sees you like other people may look at you and be like you're perfectly fine you're beautiful but you look at yourself in the mirror and you see literally a completely different person i just always was super insecure about the way my face was shaped that is a big reason why i wear makeup to this day something that i wanted to get was facial sculpting if you guys don't know what facial sculpting is facial sculpting is basically enhancing the contours of your face which is like your cheekbones your jaw your bridge of your nose and at the end of the day i really wanted to think about and make sure this is something i want to get we all have insecurities and it's okay to be insecure but when it tears you down so much that you look in the mirror and you feel so insecure to even do your day-to-day -day activities or when you feel so insecure that you have to wear makeup to even be able to see anybody in public if you haven't noticed on my tiktok or any youtube video or any picture you will never see me not wear makeup and that is all due to the fact that i am so insecure with the way that my face looks at the end it has been causing so much more negativity that i felt like it was finally time to you know do something to at least better myself and make me feel happier i think life is way too short to be unhappy and if you can do something to make yourself feel better about yourself and it's not harming anybody else then i see no problem with it and that leads me to why i got this procedure done and lastly before before I get into this, I want to talk a little bit about everything going on here. So most people who get the facial sculpting procedure that I got done usually don't have to like you know, look like this. The reason why I look like this is because I've had a lot of bruising and swelling done, and so I need to constantly ice my face. So inside of this is a lot of ice packs to keep the swelling down. I don't know if it has to do with something about the thinning of my blood. I have this to block all like the bloody noses that I've been getting, but that is the reason why I have all this all over my face right now and why my face is so sore and bruised. So before I got the facial sculpting done, I made sure I pre-filmed a bunch of videos so I didn't have to worry about posting with my face looking like this because I didn't really want to share that. So yeah so basically i have a whole bunch of videos pre-filmed and if you're wondering if you're watching this now that is why i haven't been active on my instagram stories why i haven't been going live before i show you guys the footage that i filmed when getting my facial sculpting done i want to let you guys know that we do have a giveaway so if you guys want the chance to win a brand new iphone 11 x max pro make sure you guys subscribe down below tap the bell and follow me on instagram once you guys do all those steps make sure you guys comment the word done in your instagram name so you guys have the chance to win a brand new iphone 11 x max pro 
So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys my journey with facial sculpting. Okay, I literally look so bad. So right now I'm here with Nicolette Hello. and it is the morning of the giant big day of me, you know, getting something that I have been wanting for so long. I've been wanting this since I was like in freshman year of high school. It's really like a surreal yeah, moment. Yeah, it's finally to, like the day. Even right now I feel like I look like a potato. Like oh I my god, this is the last this. time you're gonna see your face look I like. know and we are literally like 15 minutes away. The appointment is in 25 minutes. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what he's gonna say. Like what if he's like you're so ugly like you need <laughs> All of this stuff. I don't or like, think he's gonna say that. I'm not wearing makeup. I don't feel like put together. But I want it to be like raw, so you can like actually see like how I look and not like you know have like makeup be in the way. And like if he's putting an injection in me, I don't want him to be like scraping the makeup yeah. out. Like it's and just he like quiz. thinks that your face looks a certain way because of the makeup and then you take yeah. the makeup off and it's yeah. Like so that. it's like it's good to like be like I just woke up. Like I woke up like this. Like I know I look bad. So as I was driving right now, I started filling my face and I started realizing that I feel so puffy. Like I haven't been drinking water lately, and like that's like a big thing. Like you should be drinking lots of water before you go and. I haven't been doing that and I feel so dehydrated like my face feels so like puffy I just feel so insecure right now I just like hope he's gonna be able to like you know help my insecurities I hope I can like sit here and be on camera and be like I love myself like I'm not saying I'm not like that but I just wish I can like hopefully after walking out there I'll be like oh my god I love this <laughs> like we'll see I just had like some photos and I want before and after photos and I'm like scared because I don't want to talk to them because I don't want them to know that I'm filming I'm like really nervous oh my god what if there's cameras in here and they're literally watching us? Oh my god. Okay guys, they just put like some like, numbing cream. They asked me if I want a numbing cream. Who wouldn't want numbing cream? <laughs> Basically what I'm getting is like just this drop in this area. They, they said that it me. hurts less in the bone. They said it doesn't hurt as much just because it's like the bone has no nerve. It's just a bone. Yeah, they go deep in the bone. Yeah. Oh, and I have to have this on for 15 minutes. It's start I'm starting to feel it. It just feels kind of cold. Yeah. Oh my god, how do you like, feel? I just, I just feel so ready. Like it's gonna be so good once I get it. And I'm gonna be like, yes, I love it. And the doctor came in here and kind of told him like what I wanted and he looked at it and he like already knew exactly what I wanted. He's like this, this, that, and I was like, yes. Yeah, and he said like filler under the eye. Uh, like filler under the eye, but to me like he said it'll help dark circles, but I'm like, I don't need that right now. You're gonna hear it, you'll okay. feel some popping here, it usually doesn't hurt at all, but the sound kind of freaks people out. Okay. You're listening. Okay. See what I mean? You okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, Timmy, so you, you already keep telling me. It doesn't hurt that bad. That sounds weird? Do you hear mm -hmm. that sound? Yeah, it sounds like a stitch almost. Oh my god, so you don't really feel it? It's not that bad. None at all. Yeah, I like that already. Okay, good. And that's perfect. That's exactly what I want, which means it's not just the way you want it. It's perfect. And the reason it doesn't really hurt is because I'm on your bone, and the bone has no nerves on it. But it hurts much more to go superficial. Yeah, it sounds like it would hurt more hurts, to do it on the bone, but yeah, it, it hurts doesn't. hurts much more to go right into the skin. Sit all the way forward for me, please. Okay, the marker trash. Oh my god, how did that feel? It honestly didn't hurt at all. Like you just hear like a weird like popping sensation. Did that one hurt more? Yeah, that one yeah, hurts a little more. Oh my god, I like felt that one just from watching it. Take your cheek and jaw with that. Okay, I'm to this side. I want you to take a look in the mirror with me. You're a little swollen. You got okay. You bled a little bit. Oh you had more than average. You nothing to worry about. But so you bled oh, wow. a little bit because the bleeding. You have the couple little welts. Those will be gone by tomorrow. You can see the contours and the balance of your face is awesome. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Oh my god, it looks gosh. good. It looks so. It's so crazy. It is really like quick. You really do notice a difference. Like, yeah. Really quickly. Okay. Perfect. Give it a full week to take effect. Perfect. 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 Looks great. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Yeah, you do look a lot more contoured. I don't know how you went through that pain. Congrats on the new face. <laughs>
You guys, I'm so excited to show you the results. It has now been five days since I got the procedure done. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Ah! I don't know if you guys can tell, but I for sure can tell. There's been such a drastic change in my face. Not drastic change, but like subtle, but like a needed change. Personally, I just feel so much more confident. I am so happy. I cannot believe it, guys. I have had to literally hide my face for pretty much days on end. To me, my face feels just a little bit more angular, and I just feel so much more confident. Here are the before and afters. I don't know if you guys can notice, but I feel like there is such a big difference, and I am just so happy with these results. If you have made it this far into the video, I literally love you so very much, but now it is time for the weekly subscriber shout-out. And this week's weekly subscriber shout-out goes to... Ashley Templeton! Thank you so much, Ashley Templeton, for always killing it in the team builds community, liking, subscribing, and always showing so much love. And since Ashley showed so much love to me, I would love for you all to go subscribe to her and show love back to her because she really deserves it. And if you guys did not know, we have an iPhone giveaway! So if you guys want to win a brand new iPhone 11 X Max Pro, make sure you guys subscribe down below and tap the bell and follow me on Instagram. Once you do all those steps, make sure you guys come back here and comment the word done and your Instagram username so I can pick one of you guys at the end of the month to win a brand new iPhone 11 Pro. Alright, well that is the end of this Sunday's YouTube video. I know this was a very, very hard video for all of us to watch, including myself. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's YouTube video and I'll see you guys next Sunday. <laughs> My hat.